What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Lucia Bengosi. And it is not True Crime Tuesday. <sighs> it's been a minute, but I refuse to say that I'm back because I'm an Aquarius. I don't know nothing about consistency, so y'all. But before we get started with today's video, could you kindly subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and comment down below video ideas and true crime cases that you would like me to cover. Today's video is a little bit different because it is not a true crime case, but it is a video that I have been contemplating because I want to add a little bit more diversity to my content. And this video is also another reason why that I don't want to hyper focus on true crime. Um, but I'm sure you've seen the title. Today I'm going to be talking about my spiritual journey. What exactly is spirituality and what do I believe in? So I have it written down on my phone and I'm going to read it. Spirituality involves the recognition of a feeling or sense that there is something greater than myself. Something more to being human than the sensory experience and that the great, the greater whole of which we are part of is cosmic or divine in nature. I do not follow any religion. Um, I used to be Christian and I do believe in different concepts and different cultural practices from different religions and cultures and belief systems. But I do not, however, box myself or have a name. I do have a name for what I believe in. It's spirituality, spiritualism. I'm a spiritualist. <clears throat> so I guess that's what you could call it. But I do not, I'm not boxed. I'm not categorized. I refuse to be categorized. And that's what's so beautiful about spirituality is that you just be, you believe in what works for you and you let go of what doesn't. And I think that's something that religion has lost over the years. That you can be religious, but you also need to be spiritualist. You need to believe in what you want to believe if something doesn't work for you dip and i guess religion didn't work for me or for my family um so yeah um i believe in the concept of omnism omnism states that there is truth in all religions but not one religion is the truth i hope that makes sense so that's how i have come about practicing different cultural uh, spiritual religion stuff just like being a whole mix of things believing in different things and not having like a set um, rule book you know so I believe I think the core of my belief system is that we all know scientifically that everything is made out of electromagnetic waves vibrations or frequencies so I believe that everything is a frequency a vibration energy a vibe that's what I genuinely believe in. And I believe that every single being carries a vibe. And with spirituality or being a spiritualist, my main goal is to align myself with the vibrations of what I feel that I want to achieve or attain. So I believe in God. Yes, I'm not atheist. I believe in a God, but not a God as a father, God as a healer, as I don't personify God. I feel like God is the source of or life and God is the creator and has given us the universe or created the universe and we should be one with the universe because we are part of it um, I hope this is making sense but essentially everything that I want has already been given to me or is readily available for me and my job is to just align myself so if I want wealth wealth is already out there for me i just need to align myself with the frequency of wealth if i want to be happy i need to align myself with that frequency love is the highest form of vibration energy and that is like the biggest thing that i try and include into my life and have all the time for you to be able to align yourself um you need to be aligned within yourself first before you start aligning yourself with other things so this is where it gets, this is where people start asking like, what is that? So I believe in chakras and there are many, many, many chakras, but I focus on the seven chakras. So that is your crown, your third eye, your throat, your heart, um, your solar plexus, your sacral and your root chakra. And I believe that you need to align one of those they need to be aligned and that's the only way you will attain whatever you want happiness wealth 
peace whatever it may be you just need to be aligned with your chakras yeah yeah <laughs> just a couple of random stuff i do believe in reincarnation because oh my gosh physics states that energy cannot be created or destroyed but can be transferred so what do you mean when i die nothing happens to me um i believe in reincarnation i believe in witchcraft now oh my gosh this has <laughs> gotta mean to so much trouble i'm not pagan i'm not um because pagans are the ones that are are the people who are like genuinely witches and stuff i'm not pagan no um but i believe in witchcraft and i believe witchcraft is being able to take elements with in the physical realm to be able to manipulate i use that word very lightly manipulate things in the spiritual realm so manipulates not in a bad way just so that it works for you that sounds so selfish but yeah um so i do believe in witchcraft and within witchcraft these different tools if you know about tarot i am learning how to read tarot now and um that is part of my tools that i use i believe in crystals um use, utilizing the energy within crystals to help me so each crystal has a different vibe different energy a different uh elements or function to it and that's why i have them for different reasons i believe in astrology the whole zodiac sign thing um and birth charts my birth charts i'm an aquarius sun a what is my birth chart oh aquarius sun a cancer moon and a leo rising and then like there's different elements to that so um if you want your birth chart just like type in birth charts calculator or whatever you need your birth date the time you were born and oh the place you were born yes so i believe in that uh i use things like incense candles and also integrated into my belief system is african traditionalism so i'm sure a lot of you guys know about like sangomas and all of those things i do believe in like ancestral powers and i do um what's the word because the the biggest misconception about being an african traditionalism is that you worship your ancestors i don't worship my ancestors i acknowledge my ancestors and they're like my guides if if i put it in a nice uh way i believe my ancestors are my spirit guides so yeah where exactly did this journey start so i guess we've always been somewhat spiritualist because me and my i'm saying us because i'm talking about me and my mother uh, my mom and i have always been like i'm i've always been interested in the weirdest things right so we were christian but we were always like interested in dabbling in other things like we did like things like crystals and incense and all of those things so um it started when we had just moved to mp Bumalanga, and my mom was told that she needs to go to initiation school for being a traditional healer and at first she was all for it and she was having the dreams um, my intuition was speaking to her and that's another big thing within spiritualism is that your intuition if it doesn't feel right don't do it um and she was having all of the little signs and whatever and then she realized that it was getting harder and harder and harder for her to go and she realized it was because well obviously her guides weren't allowing her and then she got the message she's not crazy she doesn't hear voices in her head but intuition um that she could do it her way so that's when my mom and i started getting crystals and doing incense and doing things like that and she realized that yes we have guides um and yes we have people who we call them amakobela who are people who initiate people and she has that she has that support on the traditional side and we have our own shaman we call her shaman but uh auntie lara i love her so much and she's been around since i think i was three years old and has always been part of this journey and we are only starting now to understand what exactly she was doing and how spirituality 
it's just amazing and like we've been talking to her a lot so moving to Mpumalanga kind of put us in an isolation where we had to and also oh and also uh lockdown COVID lockdown I think that's when it really started because when you're all by yourself with people you have to think you have so much time on your hands that there's nothing else to do but to think and research and read and watch all these YouTube videos and that's ex that's essentially how it had started and just like integrated into our lives and now we fully transitioned and with spirituality another big thing that I've learned is that you never I'm so sorry is that you never stop learning um you never ever stop learning there's never ever and and there's never ever one path like if you're a spiritual spiritualist there's there's some spiritualists who don't believe in incense or some people spiritualists don't believe in tarot but believe in uh being pagan and being witch and that's the beautiful thing about how broad spirituality is so i think this is something that i need to talk about because being a spiritualist is a beautiful beautiful journey and learning how to align yourself and be one with the universe is amazing but in the world that we live in it's hard so the hardest part of being a spiritualist is one deprogramming so we are all especially with ghosts. <laughs> sorry we being spiritualist deprogram is deprogramming is one of the hardest things especially being black because um never mind being religious or whatever uh there's this sense of fear mongering that is instilled in you that if you don't believe in god you're going to hell if you like it's the smallest thing that me and my mom try and teach people like, if you say i don't have money or i'm broke just like that universe heard you you're broke but if people say oh my god you're so rich you say yes i am and I'm ready to receive more wealth, even if your bank account is not really, you know. So deprogramming is one of the hardest things that comes with being spiritual because it's like it's ingrained in you. And also with the society that we live in, being being weird isn't cool. I know how we like saying like this is a weird aesthetic, whatever. It's not cool. Um and especially in the place where I currently live now, like, how do you explain to people that mm -mm, I read tarot? What the fuck is tarot? I think deprogramming, trying to uninstall that I don't have money. Um, I'm going to go to hell. Uh, I need to be the best of the best. I need to. It's okay just to be like, that's the biggest thing about being spiritual. Again, you just be and deprogramming is just that. Uh, so like just uninstalling all of those previous things that we have learned especially as children my mom is even older so she's had all of these years of knowledge that she has and now has to uninstall and also being a light worker in a very 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 dark world is hard um and because as being spiritual you are exposed to the dark side it also makes you a little bit more susceptible to those things if you're not yes you can protect yourself you can pray whatever but i realized that ignorance sometimes is bliss so if you don't know anything about uh how dark the world is you're cool but once you start understanding how dark the world is and how everything is planned and so forth it 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 weighs on you who's that nobody opened my door that is so weird nobody opened my door <laughs> okay yeah so it being in a very very dark world sometimes it gets heavy and and that has also attributed to my mental health struggles not being able to understand the darkness in the world and um being so curious and this is what i was saying at the beginning of the video that this is also another reason why i don't I've tried not to dabble so hard into true crime because true crime is a little bit low it's like low vibrational I won't even lie to you hearing about people kill other people and do all of these things to people yeah we monetize it and we try and sugar it down a bit but 
that those people's lives and it's horrific sometimes and that's why i've tried to take a break from true crime sometimes not even watching it myself let alone researching it because it gets really 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 dark so yeah i think those are the hardest parts that is the hardest part well not the hardest part i mean it gets difficult it gets lonely generally it really really does get lonely um yeah what can you do to get yourself into a spiritual path so, like i had stated before being aligned is the most important thing that you can do going back to base zero being genuinely one with the universe and it's hard especially when there's different people's energies and vibes involved but once you work on yourself and you yourself are aligned at some point nothing can shake you and i've realized that being spiritual and we sometimes like separate like our spiritual lives from our physical lives from our school lives but i realized that your spiritual life should be integrated especially with even if you have a business making money your spiritual life should be there academics i've seen that myself um so just once you are aligned everything else work perfectly and it's also really easy to unalign yourself as easy as it as it is to align yourself and i think i'm gonna make more videos about like chakra balancing cleansing aura cleansing and things like that because it's also really important to maintain that and being spiritual you need to maintain it's not just the my bad thank you so much for the session i'm out you can unbalance your chakras like heartbreak is another way to unbalance your heart chakra uh, not listen to your intuition my mom got ulcers because she stopped listening to her intuition so that's your solar plexus and so it's like a maintenance thing and just the first thing that you can do for yourself is to align yourself do your research see what works for you but once you are at peace within yourself everything just starts clicking so just to give you a little overview of your chakras um like i had explained uh we have your root chakra which is like this one i, I i'll insert Zygram <laughs> and with that to keep that in balance you need to be grounded 100% content happy with what you have always need to be grounded and also greed can unbalance your root chakra um, and if you feel any unbalance also the food you eat is really important actually it's like just living a healthy lifestyle also is what impacts your spiritual well-being as well so um, with your root chakra, if you have things like back pain and stuff, and you should, you should, you should try to fix that. Um, and then we have your sacral chakra, which is important to also express yourself creatively. And also hypersexuality is a scam. <laughs> it really is. And that's another way to like unbalance your sacral chakra. Um so that's another way you can do that and i i really encourage you to do research for yourself because i can tell you every single thing that i know but if it doesn't feel right to you then what what's the reason um and then we have your solar plexus solar plexus is what deals with your intuition your gut feeling if something doesn't feel right listen to your intuition and as you go further in your spiritual journey your intuition gets louder so i hope you do that then with your heart chakra love yourself endlessly forgive yourself um forgive others things like jealousy and um just being ugly don't be ugly could could really just unbalance your heart chakra and heartbreak and things like that and there are different things that you can do i will link down videos of things that i've watched um to deal with your different chakras and how interesting it really is and then your third chakra um your third chakra is expression speaking for yourself please do it please do it it is the most freeing thing because if you hoard what you feel and how you want to say things unbalanced to the side then you have your third eye and with your spiritual journey i think that is the first thing that opens it's your third eye i think a lot of people know about the third eye and stuff and yeah that is just like spiritual 
awareness and then you have your crown which is where you your source of energy where you get all your energy and it's also your connection to god and yourself so yeah fix that and then if you're wondering my little bracelet i hope you can see it it's blurry come on oh is it focused but this is my third eye bracelet I and mean, the third eye i wear this to ward off uh evil en energy my aunt gave me this and then i have an amethyst necklace but i left it in durban um amethyst is my favorite crystal I hope I was able to explain the basis of what I believe in so that you understand a little bit of the type of person that I am and what I believe in. And if you are interested in any of the things that I've talked about, don't go off only of what I've said. Do your research and listen to your gut. If it feels like it works for you, then that's it. Um, I will do more videos like this with like Q&A's, more in-depth about aura cleansing and balancing and tarot and crystals. I definitely will do more videos pertaining to my spirituality. And no, I haven't stopped true crime. I have something awesome coming. But yeah, I, I hope we're good. I hope I've answered some of your questions. Oh, before I forget, it was full moon on, on Friday. It was full moon on Friday. Um, and things like that are actually really important to me, like cosmic events, retrogrades, uh, full moon. But I have to do, I have to do more in-depth videos. But this was just like a basis, like a laying my foundation for what I believe in and just my spiritual journey. In the beginning, it was so hard oh my god i went through the absolute worst 2021 had to be one of the worst years of my life like worst 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 but also the best because that's when i started my spiritual journey and started finding myself now that i'm more in tune with myself um it's gotten a lot 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 better so yeah i hope this video helped it should have um and what can i say <laughs> uh i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and i will see you guys on my next video bye